Today is February 25th, 2021. I'm Trey, and this is DSMS TV News. Now to a special announcement from Mr. Hummer and Mrs. O'Boyle. Good morning, Sidewinders. I'd like to thank all of you for a successful first few days of dual modality here in February 2021. We have about 75% of our students in person and 25% of students learning at home. Our teachers are teaching 100% of the students both in person and online. I want to commend our teachers and staff for your hard work and success in teaching and leading our classrooms in a new way. A year ago, none of us had the skills or insight to school in the way that we do right now. When you stop and think about it, it really is extraordinary. The world has changed, and our teachers and students are stepping up. I'd like our school to think about the fact that many of these changes will persist and continue when the pandemic and dual modality is behind us. We'll use little paper, we'll organize our work online, and we'll submit most of our classwork virtually as well. In many ways, we are more efficient, organized, and flexible than ever before in school, and it needs to be this way because the world around us, it's fundamentally different too. Where I live, among my neighbors, there are those whose job used to be going into work every day and now it's all virtual. In my family, I have some relatives who used to travel most of the time for their work and now they Zoom or WebEx for some portion of their job. Of course, some things are just as they are, but generally, how work is done all around the world is changing. And this means that there are amazing opportunities for those of us who can step up and figure it out. Future opportunities will be won by those who work towards mastering a new way of thinking and learning. For this reason, I want to encourage all of our DSMS students to work hard. Work hard on your Google Classrooms, your Formative, and those other platforms. Mastering the ways of virtual learning is important. This is the pathway for your high school and college future, and we're not going to be turning back. Your teachers and I want to encourage you and challenge you to persist in putting forth your best in your new way of doing your schoolwork. We have two and a half weeks remaining in the third quarter of instruction, and there's plenty of time to bring up those grades. Most teachers accept late work and are open to discussion about getting back on track, but you really need to start today. So log into Infinite Campus, get an idea of where those opportunities are, and find ways to improve. I'm going to turn it over to Mrs. O'Boyle now. Mrs. O'Boyle, how do you organize a party for astronomers? You plan it. Hello, Sidewinders. Wow, this year has really been something, hasn't it? I know there have been times where I haven't felt quite like myself, and even times when I didn't know how to ask for help. Here's the good news. As students of Desert Shadows, you have some amazing adults around who are ready to help out if this sounds even remotely like how you might be feeling. If you find yourself feeling overwhelmed by your schoolwork, or upset because something that has happened in your life, or in any way affected by COVID-19, please don't wait another day to reach out to our staff for help. You can do this in many ways. You can start by telling a teacher that you feel like maybe you should talk to someone. You can write an email to me. You can stop by the back office if you're in person to ask to see a counselor. You could ask a duty aide to direct you to the office because you would like to find someone to talk to. We're all expecting that our students are having some challenges this year. We're ready to talk about them. So please don't wait. Come see someone today if you've been thinking about it. We would love to connect with you. Now, Mr. H, what did Tennessee? I believe it was the same thing that Arkansas. Now that we've been back at school for a few days, we all need to get on the same page about school expectations. Mrs. O'Boyle and I are sharing this today, and teachers will begin enforcing these rules and expectations from tomorrow. Please listen carefully to avoid violations and trips out of the classroom to the student services office. Our expectations here are pretty straightforward. Phones are to be stored in your backpack at all times. 
with the exception of before school, lunch, and after school. You should not have your phone out at any other time, not during passing periods or walking to and from lunch, and not for any purpose either. Phones have a way of stealing our attention from our schoolwork, and we want your attention and focus. We are at a time right now where that attention and focus will be really important. We're also going to talk about hats and headgear. Hats and headgear can be worn outside. In the hallways and in the classroom, hats should come off and stored in your backpack. Finally, we have a reasonable dress code expectation at Desert Shadows Middle School. The specifics were shared in the fall by Mrs. O'Boyle, and beginning Friday, the Student Services Office will begin enforcing our dress code expectations. I would encourage all students to dress in a way that is appropriate for school and for learning. Following these guidelines will help you eliminate headaches and spend more time in class. Mrs. O'Boyle, how does a penguin build a house? It glues it together. Now to discuss our favorite time of day, lunch. How about you amazing kids? I've seen a lot of courtesy, respect, and community out at lunch. Many of our kids are choosing to follow our lunchtime expectations throughout the whole lunch period, and we thank you. Many of our kids know that eating can only happen while they're seated, and masks must come up when it's time to stand, throw away trash, or socialize. I'm very proud of those who are social distancing and utilizing our hand washing stations and hand sanitizer pumps. For those who might still have a way to go, I'm speaking directly to you. Mr. Hummert, our duty aides and I are ready to enforce the COVID safety expectations fully. Your parents rely on us to keep you safe during these times. You will hear more of our coaching asking you to mask up, not to touch one another with handshakes or hugs, and to wash up if you touch something you shouldn't. Students who are not able to meet these expectations might have special accommodations for the lunch period, like an isolation table. Although we would hate to do it, we must make decisions that will keep everyone safe. Thank you for thinking about these expectations carefully before you head out to lunch today. So, let me ask you something. Why is Peter Pan always flying? Because he can never land. This week has been an adjustment for everyone. Our teachers, the DSMS staff, Mrs. O'Boyle and I, were so happy to have students back in our hallways. It is not a school without students. Those on PV Connect are with us on monitors this week that's for the time being, so we're not entirely there, but this week is no doubt a step in the right direction. As I said at the open, we've learned a lot. It's also true that we have some catching up to do on our school year. I know that our teachers are doing their best, and we need you with us. Together, we will bring back DSMS to its glory as the premier middle school in North Phoenix. Thank you for listening carefully to this message. Be kind and be brave, Sidewinders. Hi, it's Aubrey with today's birthdays. Today's birthdays are Sinclair Galakos and Tahiri Russell. Sorry if I mispronounced any of your names, and now on to Heidi with the lunch. It's time for lunch! What time is it? It's time for lunch! Hi, it's Heidi with today's lunch menu. Today we have nachos with taco meat and cheese, cheese pizza, um, and a sandwich pack. And now back to Trey. I'm back. Do you want a yearbook so you can remember this school year? You need to order one ASAP because they will only be on sale for a few weeks. Go to Pictavo.com to find our school. They are $30. Anyways, that's all for now, DSMS.